Today we've got the maiden flight on the Freewing F22 90 millimeter Ultra Performance. So this bird's on 8S. This is Mike's newest jet. So we're going to take it out for a maiden today. Uh, he'll go ahead and tell you about the equipment he's got set up, and then we'll get it in the air. All right. Uh, today we'll be flying the F22 on the Spectrum NX8 transmitter, and also uh, inside the model is the 8360T from Spectrum. And uh, let's see here. Got. Um, Two 4S SMC 5300 high voltage batteries in the back, shoved as far back as they'll go. And it CGs a little bit after, I'd say probably about 155 millimeters is where it CGs. Um, we did initialize it and found out that the 8S ESC does not like high voltage. It won't even initialize. So we had to bring the voltage down to about 4.25 per cell. And as you can see here, the 8360 is up front. You gonna run that gyro on the first first flight, or are we gonna roll no AS three X? No S, no AS three X. Uh, my rates are gonna be one hundred percent with twenty percent expo on uh, all surfaces, and if it's a little too twitchy for that, I'll lower to um, about 85 percent. So that's one thing I noticed having one of these birds in the past is that this thing has fairly aggressive maneuvering. You know, so one thing you told Mike about be uh, aware of the rates, especially the book rates that they use on it. So that's why you kind of mentioned, you know, we're going to look out for, you know, have them up too high. Kind of like when we uh, took the Euro fighter up, you know, we had to dial them back a little bit. So uh, we got it ready to go. So let's get this F-22 up in the air. All right, F-22 ultra performance on deck. Let's go. Good take out right there. It's pushing the nose down a little bit when you took off. Look like you're giving it some trim. Man, that's a hard bird to follow, but we're back on pace here. A little bit of clicks of trim here and there. Looks like a smooth flying bird. Now I've seen people talking about how intimidating this bird is. You know, it's pretty good size. However, it flies similar to a sport jet, really light wing loading. A little bit more wing loading since we've got 8S set up in it. How's it feeling them controls? So we put a little bit more up. See that plane? I'm trying to track it. It's with that profile and paint scheme, it's a little harder to follow than some of the other airplanes. So he's gonna roll it over right here. A high rate. Yeah, it looks like a pretty aggressive roll rate. Bring it around. One thing about this bird I'm noticing. All right, so he's gonna do a gear check or a heat check. Man, that bird's moving. Oh yeah, that thing's moving on 8S, ain't no doubt about that. I think it's one of the hardest birds I've had to record yet, so bear with me y'all on this maiden flight. slow pass in here power off already it's got a lot of sound coming out of that plane all 
right, so you're gonna roll by with the gear check right here. Awesome looking plane. Yeah, even Mike says hard to see. I know, recording <laughs> feel the same way. Did you have flaps in on that one? Yeah, throw your flaps on, see what you got. Going around. However, you know, we mentioned it's hard to see. I mean, that's what a fighter jet's supposed to be like up in the clouds. Don't want your enemy to be able to see you. I might put it down pretty firm right there. He's gonna do a go around. All right, Mike, you got this. Let that thing float in. Is it? Oh. It did not want to slow down. No, I think it was moving in. So, a little rough on the landing, got a little out of control, but we're going to take it over to the bench and see what kind of damage report we got so now we've got the f-22 back on the ground a little bit of an unsuccessful maiden flight today um you know it things happen some of the birds you think are going to be the easiest sometimes they get a little tricky on you but um i'll let mike kind of tell you about the flight and you know what he should or shouldn't have done and give you his experience on flying f-22 today well overall the flight went pretty good once the bird got trimmed out it was of course the landing as you guys saw that uh, went horribly bad. And um, the mistake I made was not having full flaps in for landing. This thing carries a lot of inertia and I was power off basically on final the whole time. And it just kept coming at the, you know, at the speed of lightning. So I should have put in full flaps. I only had uh, half flaps in. And uh, basically when it touched down, it just wanted to keep going and bounced right back off the ground and flipped on me at the end. Uh, overall, the damage isn't too bad. A little bit of scuff marks. One of the vertical stabilizers just came out of the glue joint back here. Uh, but overall, not too bad. It's fixable. Yeah, so it could have been a lot worse, as me and Mike talked about. You know, especially flipping over, could have done a lot more damage and even to the wings. But pretty minimal. He'll get it fixed up, and then we'll do a remaiden. So go ahead and follow the channel. Look out for the remade in this video, and we'll see you on the next one.